All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. This is Becky at Aunt Bex Creations. And this is our Wednesday playtime. I'm going to do three to five, maybe a little bit longer. I got to shift you guys around just a little bit. I have reorganized the table and flipped it and I've got different lighting layouts and everything. So bear with me just for a little bit here. We're going to do some more Christmas tree cards. Um, I'm going to wait till a few more people come in. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm just going to start putting some more cards kind of together. I've got my block of countertop to weigh this down so that it glues down evenly. And I'll just start another one. Hi, Allie Kay. Hi, Irene. Welcome. I'm trying to come on a little bit earlier so people on the other side of the planet can actually maybe catch me. And um, plus, I'm trying to do better about getting sleep. My doctor said it's very important that I get seven hours or more every night to help control my diabetes. So I am trying to do just that. Um, I'm going to have some shadows and stuff because my lighting is at, in a different location. Um, let me see if I can move it over and see if that'll help any. I don't know if that did or not. Hi, Sharon. Sharon, I've got your envelope ready to go, and I'm going to um, get it in the mail some today. That's a little better. It's a little better for me, at least. We'll see. So you can see where I've already worked on some because I've got this is snowdrops. <laughs> on my hands and what I'm using for my trees is some backgrounds that we made last year that I tried to do some embossing on and the embossing failed so I just cut it into the half inch strips and this is a dollar general style big pen it's a dollar general bank brand and I just kind of make a a scratchy looking tree. And then I do just like I did last week. I'm kind of waiting to see if Mary shows up because I've got an envelope here from Mary and I've got one from Beth Schuler as well. Hi, Mina. So you'll be getting one of these tree postcard, um, tree Christmas cards, Sharon, with your, um, with your gnomes on your gnome tags. And I also, um, I had a couple gingerbread houses uh, background, so I did one up for you. And they're all wrapped up in the envelope, ready to go. Here comes my mail lady, I can hear her out there. Must be no packages today, but she stopped at the mailbox. I'll go out in a little bit. I'm not going to go out right now. So if you um, mess up some stamping or whatever on a bigger piece and you're making cards, don't be afraid to just chop it up and turn it into Christmas trees. Or you could just cut triangles and make trees that way if you wanted. In fact, I'm going to do that on... The last background I have here, instead of making postcards or uh, card fronts with them, I think I'm just going to cut them into triangles and glue them down and say it's a tree, add a stem and that kind of stuff. And trying to get cards made for anybody that sends me a card, I want to have some made so I can just pop one in the envelope and they'll be good to go. Hi, Gertie. Good evening. And again, sorry about the shadows. We'll get the lighting situation figured out in time. I just needed to have a different view of the room and a different perspective on my view out the window and that kind of stuff. I do that periodically. I don't know if anybody else does that. You rearrange your furniture just to, I don't know, freshen it up maybe a little bit. All right, so I glued these down. So I'm going to take the one I already did out from under my chunk of countertop. 
I'm going to add an ornament that's just hanging off one tree right here. And instead of a red ornament, I think I'm going to do a silver one on this one. Put a little bit of snow, a few flicks of grass, and a silver gel pen would be good. Let me see if I can grab one. I've got all my materials at a better vantage point, too. That was another reason to uh, relocate everything. Just fill this in with a silver gel pen. And I didn't mean to cover my black line, so. Just come back around on it. And I'm going to wait to add the border around the card and um, the stamping of Merry Christmas until I flick these with snow. So I'm just going to create a pile and then I can do them all at once. The shadows don't look terrible. Okay, good. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. It is a little different. I don't know if turning off one this lamp. Hang on. Let's Let's try. If I turn that off, I still get some shadow. It is chilly today. It's chilly here. I told Scott the sky looked like snow, and it's been getting colder since we got up this morning. And I noticed, you know, how Facebook offers up a memory. They showed, um, and I reshared it, the video of Scott and I walking in the snow last year at the, on the, these last couple days. This is just a scratchy, scratchy trunk. It doesn't have to be perfectly filled in or anything because you can see you cover up most of it. I did a batch of trees going the opposite way with a green background, and that's why my hands all covered in stuff. Okay. Hi, Laura, how are you? It's uh, 13 degrees Fahrenheit, feels like minus two. Well, it's chilly here. It's 46. So I'm not going to complain because it's nowhere near minus two. But it's chillier than, than we've had. And this, I think, is two different blue backgrounds. So some have gold and some have silver. So I'm trying to make sure I grab the segments that are in the same colorway or at least close. And if after you put these trees together, if you wanted to go in with like gel pens or markers or something, you could add other designs on each, each little section if you wanted to. And I went to see my mom yesterday and took her the cards and goodie bags for the folks in my um, aunt's assisted living center and um, got to visit with her and my brother Jack and saw my stepdad too, but he can't hear very well. So he kind of hides out in on the computer. I don't get to visit with him too well. He just keeps to himself, playing games on the computer, reading the news, that kind of stuff. And I saw Mary said she's coming on tonight at... Um, 7.30 Central, so that'd be 8.30 Eastern. Um, 
I'll try to watch some, but I, I really need to keep doing well. I've been averaging about seven hours of sleep a night. My doctor will be glad to hear that. I sleep better in the winter when it's cold, a little chilly. Turn the heat way, way down to like 55 degrees. Put lots of blankets on the bed. And oh man, I sleep so well when um, it's nice and chilly in the house. I guess it's from growing up in upstate New York. So I like a nice chilly because we, we heated with wood up on the farm. And my grandmother would get up and she'd stoke the embers and get it going again. So we'll set that aside. Do another one. I don't know if Mary's going to be here. Yeah, Mary's going to Mary's going to go at at seven thirty central. And I haven't heard anything about Lucia doing live this week, so. You know, she she works, so we have to just kind of catch her when she can do it, which I think she's doing a great job for just getting started. So, yay, Lucia. So I found a bunch of cards down in the garage. And I could just use those as Christmas cards, you know, if I wanted to just mail them out. But I, I kind of like making my own Christmas cards. And my mother-in-law um, got a call from me today, so she was tickled. Uh, 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern Time is what she said on in a chat. Um, the sister groups that we all kind of click together, have a little ch private chat session where we can plan, you know, when each other's going to be on and that kind of stuff so we're not stepping on each other's toes. And um, she said that in there. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right, Janet. I am doing better um, with connection. Over the weekend was horrible. And then I heard that uh, YouTube had a Trojan over the weekend. So I'm hoping they've kicked the Trojan out and uh, everything's going to work okay now. Um, also, this morning, my phone said that I needed to um, plug it in for updates because they had a flash player update and my computer said there was a flash player update. So if anybody uses Linux instead of windows, cause I know windows, I think prompts you guys to do your updates. Um, if you have Linux operating service instead, you might want to check and do your updates. So I did that and everything seems to be doing okay. I'm not getting a constant spinning thing going on. And uh, everything's so much better. So whatever the bug was over the weekend, I'm glad it cleared the building. And uh, Scott and I just kind of, since the computer wouldn't stay running, we just turned them all off and went out. And the old wheel uh, wood pile that... Um, my sister-in-law had the people remove a, a tree that had died and it was dropping limbs on the cottage roof. And she was going to come and get the, get the wood, but it's been up there for four years and it was just all, we call it pithy where it's just powdery. So we just kind of worked and worked and pushed it off into the woods and made a compost pile down in the woods. And, uh, Oh, on Sunday and man we were both so sore we could barely move Scott took the longest to recover I was good after about a day and a half but it took him till this morning to to feel well enough to not you know hurt too and Laura says she reset her her router
So if you have really good handwriting, you could even write your own Merry Christmas. But I, my handwriting's not horrible, but I would rather just stamp the sentiments on the cards. And I figured I'd just go ahead and keep making the tree cards. And I had the date wrong for my sister's surgery. She's She's actually just probably coming out of surgery right now. It was 1 o'clock today. So hopefully Robin's doing well. And she said her husband was going to post when she came out of, reco you know, out of the recovery and was stuck in a room. She said she was going to be hangry by the time the surgery was done. And I'm like, well, once they knock you out, you're not going to care anyway. How hungry you are. <laughs> you won't remember any of it. Little snow banks, little wavy lines, a few sprigs of grass here and there. And we'll put the tree on here. All you got to do to reset your router is pull the plug and then wait a, a few minutes and then plug it back in and it'll reset itself. That's all you have to do to reset the router. That's all we do. And I took Bernadette with me yesterday and she had so much to smell. I wouldn't take her down near the barn because, I mean, she's a dog and she'll eat anything. And I didn't want to think about her eating, you know, barn residue because um, mom has bunnies and chickens and um, goats. And I didn't see any goats, though. They must have been hanging close to the barn because it was rainy. Oh, the weather was horrible to drive in. I was so glad to get over there and then I was so glad to get back home because traffic. I had a um a Cooper fly past me at about 110 miles an hour. It was just a buzzing and I was doing 70, which was the speed limit in that area. But man, that little car came flying by me and going in and out of traffic. They had the um the ones that monitor the truckers' weights, they had them out in droves yesterday pulling trucks for being loaded too heavy. There's Mary. Let me finish. Oh, jeez. Hang on. Let me see. Hello. Hey. I'm doing okay. Can I call you back when I finish my live? Yeah, because I'm on live right now. So I'll call you back when I get done. Love you. Bye. Tis my mama. So I forgot what I was saying. Doesn't matter. Must not have been very important if you can't remember. Yeah, I was just glad to get back home. The roads were horrible. The visibility was horrible. It was nice visiting with my mom. Talked about the past some, which is hard sometimes. A lot of things occurred that mama didn't know was going on, and she feels really bad about it. But I told her, I said, there's nothing we can do about it now. It's in the past. Let's go. Move forward. So, anyhow. I'm going to finish up this one. And then I'm going to open my mail from Mary. All we got to do is put the little silver bulb on here. After I sprinkle snow on all of them and they've dried, I'll come in and do a border on these. I'm thinking about just going around them with a Sharpie this time, like a black outline frame, but I don't know. We'll see. So let's set these aside. Uh, set them up here. 
Oh, I saved my alien from my drop paper because I put new drop paper and then I colored her in darker colors. So that's my alien. I need to go in and give her some highlights, I think. But I need a lighter green marker or something. Oh, and this little thing is so cool because you can close it with that. Yes, I got it. It's back here behind me. And I got an envelope from Beth, too. Move this over here. So this is from Beth. Oh, let's see. I moved my scissors. I don't know what I did with those others. <sighs> yeah, my mom always calls. It's like mother radar. <laughs> I do it to my son, too. He's like, Mom. It like, you know what they're doing. It's like, I didn't know. Let's see what Beth has here. Oh, she sent me a gingerbread house. So I'll have to make note. To, I got one more blank gingerbread house. I told Scott I want to get a, just a small tree for in here and I can put the gingerbread house ornaments on it. So Beth sent me one too. Isn't that sweet? That is so cute. Got a little puffy gingerbread man. Those look just like M&Ms, don't they? That's so cool. So thank you Beth for that. And then she included a little cutout. This looks like one that you fold in half, like a gift tag. See, it's a little deer. And then some Santas. And some to and froms. And a snowman. And another snowman. And see what I'll do is I'm going to make a, a signature for my little happy mail envelope. And I'll just fold the snowman in half. And put him in the signature just like that so his head will be on one page and his bottom will be on another what I might could do is put this napkin on the back of here like that and then just cut around it might do that and put that there to remind me to do that use the to and from tags and those and then she's got another little one with birdies Oh, a chichihuahua. <laughs> and then some cardinal paper. So I can make a signature. And I'll use her envelope too because she's got some cute stickers on it. I might just paint out our addresses. So I can do a flip through and not show anybody's address. Uh-oh. Well, opening it the way I did is not helping me put it back. So I'm just going to lay it all to the side over here. <laughs> and we'll open Mary's package. I might need to back out a little bit. I'm awful close. Let me um let me back out just a little bit. I got in close to work on the Christmas cards and I think it's a little too close. Oh, I need to put her ornament over there, too, so I don't get it messy. All right, let's see if I can. And I'm sorry, I've not been watching very many videos lately. I just been working on stuff and I when I work on stuff sometimes I just put something that I've already seen like I'll put get on Netflix and um, just watch Criminal Minds which I've already watched all of Criminal Minds all of them I've seen them all oh my goodness Mary 
All right. So I, this looks like a card. So maybe I'll start there. I'm seeing messages retracted. What's that? What's that? I'll keep this so I can put stuff back in it. That'll make a cute little tag in a pocket. That's cute. Let's open the card. Oh, this is so cool. I love how it feels. Oh, goodness. Wow, that's pretty with that multicolored cloth um, thread on it. Oh. And Mary made me a gingerbread card. And then there's her gingerbread stamp. Oh, I like how you drew the snowman in. That's cute. That's so cool. And there's her gingerbread house. I need to make some more gingerbread houses. So cute. I love how you put the stars on the thing. That's so pretty. So then when you hang it, it'll look like the stars are hanging above. I love that idea. I might snitch that, Mary. That is so pretty. Thank you. Yep, I'm going to have to get me a little Christmas tree just for the, the gingerbread ornaments. I mean, like a maybe an 18-inch or two-foot tree. I'll put that back in this beautiful card. Look at this card, you guys. Look at that. Snitch away, Mary says. Put that in there. That'll go in the signature. The card will. But the ornament I'll keep and put in um, on my tree. I watched you use these making the um, artist trading cards. And it was like an instant artist trading card. Aren't they beautiful? And you said the guy's name, Jim. Oh, I can't read it. Do you remember the name, Mary? It's Jim. It looks like Jim Shear. Jim Shore. I think it might be Jim Shore. That's beautiful. I love the quilt aspect of it. Then again, that'll make a nice tag. Oh, isn't she pretty? That'll be a nice little tag in a pocket. Oh, wow. The camera will probably hate that. But I love it. That is so pretty. And look, it's embossed so heavily. It's on the one below, too. So pretty. And then some cars with a Christmas tree on top. I'll definitely use that. Oh, and some of the your... Oh, awesome. Well, thank you, Mary. These are great. These will be fun to color. I saw a house... It, it's Rita. Rita posts the most amazing um, gypsy theme things. And I absolutely love the house she posted the other day. And I got a piece of her art a while ago. It, And she likes the bright colors like that too. Like you take a dresser and you put a bunch of bright colors on it. I love that. So thanks for all the goodies, Mary. Oh, better put the paper clip in there because that'll be used in the signature too. And then let's see what's in this package. Okay, I put the envelope on the floor so I wouldn't have it in the way. Yes, Jim Shore. Hi, Gigi. I missed you. Mrs. Gigi, hi. Hi, G it's Julia's paint girly, right? Hi, Sandra Miranda. Hi, Janice. Who else did I miss? Brittany. Hi, Brittany. I saw Sharon. I saw Allie. I saw Mina. I think that's everybody. So I hope everybody's staying warm today. I know several of us said it's kind of chilly, but I think Allie's got us beat with the, the chilly points because she's like, feels like a minus two, she said. Is this some of your homemade washi or store-bought? Store-bought, I guess. It only sticks when you don't want it to, when you want to pull it off. I will give 
get your big envelope up here because it'll it'll be easier to release off from than regular paper. Be one of those aggravating people that takes forever to open a present because they're trying to save all the wrapping paper. I grew up with that mentality of you had to save it so you could use it the next year. But then I had my son and I just wanted him to rip into it. So I'm of the mind of do whatever makes you happy. I just want to reuse this um, tape if I can. Oh, well, it might have some of the red still attached to it. We'll see. There we go. Oh, another little piece is hiding. Scott had to go in early today because he's getting a new computer at his workstation. Got lots of peppermint paper. Lots of peppermint tissue paper. Got it sealed up good, Mary. <laughs> and I was seeing on Netflix, they have the third season of Outlander on there. So I almost started to start watching it. And then I said, no, because then I'll get roped into it and um, miss my live time. So I said, I'm not going to do that. So I just put Criminal Minds on. And this is the last year of Criminal Minds will be on TV to watch. And we don't watch it on TV. I wait till the next day and watch it at CBS.com. I'm not too worried about, <laughs> I don't see any people to worry about somebody ruining the show for me. Oh, wow. Look at this bag of goodies. Oh, I love the cats and dog socks. Look at, look at that. Oh, my goodness. These are so cute. So cute. Thank you. And then these are pins. Look at them. I have to stick one on my coat. Ooh, Godiva chocolate. All oh, these little boxes are cute. Oh, it says it's got eight stickers inside. I just want to pull one box off so we can look at it. Isn't that cool? You could almost reuse these and make a tiny book to slide inside. And then you could put them in, make a little box to slide them in. You know what I'm saying? And make it look like there's a row of books this way. But put a label here for, that says whatever your book is. And then you could open it and just pull the book out. Or turn this box into a little book. I might do that. I might turn these into little books. Look at the tiny little stickers. Aren't they cute? Those are stinking cute. I think I'm going to turn, I'm going to keep these on my desk. Like I need to add to the projects I have unfinished. But I'm going to keep these where I can get to them. And maybe turn them into little books. That could almost make a really cute little ornament. Make it up, make a box out of chipboard to hold these and turn these into little books. And then you put a little string on the top of it and you can hang it on your tree and write my Christmas stories. That would be so cute. Okay, you gave me a new project, Mary. It's all your fault. Oh my goodness, here we go. Look at that. That's so sweet with a little truck. See, the tape is there. I told Mama, I said, I've included some candy in these 
She said, oh, I hope we don't get in trouble with the ones that aren't supposed to have candy. And I was like, well, they can give it away to somebody that can have candy if they can't have it. Or they can be naughty and have one piece a day, not eat all of it. I didn't, it wasn't like I gave them a whole great big box of candy. I gave them a couple chocolates and a couple mints. I think they'll be okay. I love that Merry Christmas tape. That's definitely going to get used in the signature. Ow, hit my knee. You thought I could cut up the boxes. Well, I came up with another project. Oh, look at this. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's a little horse and sleigh. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And a little crocheted ornament. I can't get my hands down there. Oh, a tree of life. Oh, I love the tree of life. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That is so pretty. Thank you, Mary. And a do not eat this. <laughs> I won't. That's gorgeous. Thank you. And a horse and sleigh. Look at them go. I love this box. This is so, this is so cool. Might have to look at it. See, they've got the paper comes up, and that's how they attach these. That way it comes apart. Huh. I like that. I think this would be so cute to make a little book to fit down inside it. And of course, you'd have to make something to hold it down. Is it supposed to have a magnet right there? I could almost put a magnet on it. Put a little piece of metal right here and a, and a magnet underneath here if I could get one strong enough and it would clip it down. Definitely. All right. So let's see here. Let's put these in the baggie. I'm going to put these on top to hold that box closed. I'll keep the candy out here in case I have an emergency candy need. And then she's got a little, little teeny package all wrapped up. I think I will use, I don't know what I did with my scissors, my little white scissors with the pointy point, because I hit them because Howie got up here on the table, and they are very sharp, and I didn't want him to stab himself with them. Look, she's conducting this choir. Isn't that cute? I love house mouse. Love the house mouse. Well, I'm going to put this in the signature too. I'll flatten it out. I can get my iron out and iron this flat again. It will all go in the signature that's paper. All right, I'm going to slide this back in the envelope. Thank you, Mary. Y'all, y'all are just so sweet to me. And Lisa Lane surprised me with a little glue bot, a tiny one. That was such a surprise. And then Holly went and surprised me. And she sent me a speedball thing. I want to stamp this out. Let me grab an ink pad. I got my all my stuff down here where I can just turn and get it now. I don't have to get up and climb over anything. I'm going to stamp the house mouse right here on the table. Let's see if you guys can still see him. Ta-da! Isn't he cute? I didn't get enough on his... Oh, I was telling y'all, I took Bernadette over there and she walked all around mom's house sniffing and clearing her th nose and her throat. And mom kept saying, what did she get? I was like, mama, she's not going to get anything. She's an old dog. 
I said, the only thing she's doing is clearing her airway so she can get more smells in because you've got little kids come here and all kinds of stuff and she's excited about it. I love the house mouse, Mary. Thank you so much. He's so stinking cute. And as Scott said, there's no higher thing than stinking cute. All right. So that's that. Um, I did want to show a couple weeks ago, um, Mary did a pick 10. And I was so excited that somebody was doing a pick 10 because <laughs> I did a pick 10 with Lisa. Well, sometime last year we did it where we did it on something. And I did the cover of this um, notebook. And what we did is we covered our object with stuff and then did a pick 10 on it. So this was that cover. Well, then I was going to um, put my pick 10s that I did in here. So I did one pick 10 with Lisa, this one. And what I did is I put the, the, the prompts on the back and who I did the pick 10 with and everything. And then Lisa quit doing pick tens. <laughs> so I was like, oh, and then Mary did a pick 10. So I did Mary's pick 10. And that was that one. See, we're getting an awful shadow because of the lighting situation. But I just put my um, my quote on the page because I think that was the last add a quote or saying was the last prompt on that. So I've already got pages cut to do more pick tens and put them in here. So we might start doing a pick 10 every once in a while. I would love to fill this with pick tens. So that was an idea. And I love how textured this cover is because it's got lace and um, little flat back pearls and weird trim and a doily. I loved putting the doily on here. And it's just so tactile. I love it. And then the back, it's got flat back pearl strip and some trim. It just came out so cool. I I'd love to do some pick tens. So there's that. Um, I did more cards this morning. And I'm waiting on them to dry. But I'll just bring them over and show you. They still got to dry. But this is what I did. This is... And I used my Posca and added snow. And I don't know if I like that or if I like it just with the black lines on the bottom with the snow falling. I almost think I like it without the extra work on it. But these just turn out so cool and they're so quick to do. So I've got a couple more gingerbread houses to put together, which is fine. So... I can finish my cards later um, if you guys would like to do something else. Uh, all I'm going to do is once I get these all put together, I'll just line them up here on my table and cover the computer and just splatter the devil out of them. And um, then I'll add a border. All of these are going to need their borders added. But you'll either get a, a green tree or a blue tree from me. If you send me a Christmas card, I will send you one. That's why I'm making so many. Yep, I have a snow everywhere. <laughs> so I've got, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to finish the ones that I've got cut apart so that I don't lose the pieces. So just bear with me. It won't take me too long. Oh, and um, in my feed on Facebook, a, um, hi, Lisa. I reposted a card I did last year. I thought maybe we'd do some more of those. It's nothing but a doodle tree. You make lines and then do scribbles across it and add a few ornaments, color the ornaments in, and it's done. It's a very quick card. and. It just turns out so cute. I would also love to do some cards of just a Charlie Brown tree. You know, and it has just a single ornament on it. 
But see, I could do a single ornament on the tree. And then maybe instead of having the, you know, the, the X of wood that they put on the bottom of trees like that, I might just put Linus's blanket around it instead. probably getting sick of watching me make these cards with the trees on it but I've got to get them made if I'm going to mail them out well let's see here Hi, Sana. You can't stay long. I know it's late for you, isn't it? That little bot that uh, Lisa Elaine sent me, I might go get some scotch quick dry because I really like it and put it in that little container. This has just got um, the plain brown bottle of Aileen's Tacky Glue. I miss seeing my mom's white donkey, but it passed away. She was old as dirt when my mom got her, and she she passed away a couple years back, I think it was. Her name was Fanny. Oh, thanks, Mary. All right, y'all remember the story about the computer and FedEx? Well, Scott ordered all of the materials to redo the floor in that front room down at the house. You know, the, um, the stripper, the sanding pads, the buffing pads, all that kind of stuff. He ordered it from a company in upstate New York. Well, it was supposed to get to us within just a couple days, and it kept going and going. And then this Monday, sorry about the traffic going by. This Monday, I told Scott, I said, I've got a really bad feeling about this because it's been almost two weeks. And I told him, I said, I think we better do some calling. So he called and UPS lost the shipment. $300 worth of stuff they lost. So Scott said, well, I don't know what it is with our bad luck of ordering stuff. And I'm like, well, I hope all our holiday shopping gets here because we don't like to go out to shop. So we do all our shopping online. And, uh, oh, so he called UPS and said, you know, you, you're going to have to do something because this stuff can't get frozen. This, um, the products, the varnish and stuff, it cannot freeze. It will ruin it. And so, um, let me put that under here to weigh it down. So the, the U.S. Sander, um, they've sent another shipment out. I told Scott, I said, it better come before we have to leave. Or not come until Monday, because it can't it can't get frozen. And I told Greg we'd be down this weekend. If worse comes to worse, I can stay here and wait for the shipment. I just had wanted to help Greg decorate the house down there for Christmas. I think he's already set the tree up. I told him I said if there if you've already set it up that's fine I said but you need to make sure it's in the den and not in the front room because daddy needs access to the floor you know to to do some work on it so hopefully Greg set it up I told Scott I said even if he's already set it up in that front room it's a pencil tree, so we can just pick it up, Greg and I, together and just move it to the other room, provided he hasn't put a lot of breakable ornaments. And with that psycho Sally <laughs> that's like 
liquid silver dumped on the floor, flying around all the time. I'm hoping he didn't put any breakable ornaments on the tree. Joyce, my mom ordered a dishwasher and she paid for the installation on it through Lowe's. And they said they would call her when they were going to be out and that it would be probably Monday. Monday came and went. Tuesday came and went. It was almost toward the end of the week, toward another week. And she called and she said, forget it. She said, I ordered a dishwasher. You said you'd let me know. Even if they just called and said, hey, um, Miss Sellers, it's going to be next week before we can get to it. She would have been cool with that. But they didn't call her at all. So she got ticked and told them just to cancel the order. But uh, it's just a mess. So Mama does still doesn't have a dishwasher and she needs this kitchen faucet. And I'm sitting over there making a mental list of everything that she could use as a Christmas present. Mom, I hope you're not listening. You and Dad, turn your ears off. <laughs> so, I'm going to put another one with lots of bling on it. This one had an angel on it that didn't um, emboss well. So, if you have a boo-boo, just chop it up and make trees out of it instead. It just will look like decorations on the tree. I found my gold pens, too, when I was doing my cleanup. So I could actually put a gold ornament on this one if I decide to. I'm coming to the end of these. I think I may need to make just three more of these like this. And then I've got these here backgrounds. I was supposed to add a ribbon angel. But I'm thinking of just cutting simple triangle trees out of those just so I can get some more cards made real quick. So I might do that next. But I want to draw a pattern up. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, let's see. Did I put a gold pen in there? Probably not. Yay, gold pen. I love these things. I think they come from China, but they, they are just so wonderful to use. I love them. We'll give this one a gold ornament instead of silver. That makes me think of Yukon Cornelius from Rudolph. You know how he throws it up and licks the thing and said, ah, rats, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I just, and then my brother told my mom, um, mom, what are you doing? Paying for installation. He said, I would come and put it in for you. And he's, he used to work for a plumbing company. He did sales, but he knows how to install all that stuff. Mom was like, well, I don't want to be a bother because Charles works for Homeland Security now. And when there's a national disaster, he has to go and um, take fuel to like generators and things. So they stay running. So he goes into danger zones and make sure everybody's generator's working. Like I know when we lost power here and the man across the street had an internal fibrillator and heart monitor, um, when power was lost, his monitor would go off and it wouldn't be 30 minutes and a truck would come and put a portable generator on the pole over there and then they would come back every few hours I guess it's every 24 hours or 12 hours and refill the fuel tank on that. And we'd hear that running the whole time just so his heart defibrillator and all that would 
be backed up and emergency crews would know. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, somebody's um, birthday? Who else? What? Ruth Lamb post, posted a picture of a delicious looking cake, too, for I think her son's birthday. Oh, I've got some new folks here, I think. Let me scroll back up here. I get to talking and I forget to look at chat. Laura, rock, and Laura is an absolute rock star at keeping up with her chat. I need to do better. I need to do so much better. Um, I think I've seen everybody. Yeah, Cheryl, about the white donkey. Scott used to ask people if they'd like to see a picture of his mother-in-law's white, <laughs> big white, A double S. And, uh, then he would pull out a picture of Fanny, the donkey. And the people would just be about to die laughing. What on earth? <laughs> Law of cat. Use a straw ornaments at Christmas. Well, yeah, that's true. Hi, Susan. Watching the ads. Looks like a three-minute one. See you in two. Bumbies bounce, which is nice because they recruited the Bumble afterward. Yep. There's Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Enjoy. Enjoy that birthday with your boy. My boy's birthday's in August, so we got a ways to go yet. He's not too eager for this one. He's getting close to that halfway in his uh, 30s and He's not too keen on it. I was like, well, at least you're still here. It could be worse. You could have no more birthdays. That would make me sad. So I went looking for stocking stuffers for my son. And the things that pop up for men's stocking stuffers on Amazon are absolutely hilarious. I'm not going to tell you what they are. <laughs> Because some of them are just not anything I would think would need to be a thing. Um, yeah, not at all. Well, feel free to look up stocking stuffers for men. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So I need to get out and do some more shopping. I thought about doing it today, but then I remembered I got to go live at three. And by the time I get off from here, it'll probably be dark because it's what? Completely dark by 530 now. There's another really easy Christmas card I could show you guys that is just blows me up. It's just so funny. Um. It's a black card, and you just put a couple pair of googly eyes here, about three googly eye sets over here, so six sets of eyes, six eyeballs over here. And then on this side, you do two eyeballs with a red jewel, so that you can, you can see Rudolph in the dark. I thought it was cute. And I don't know if I put a bulb on that one I just put under there or not. I don't have enough trays right now to throw the white on these. So I'm just going to um, get them to this point and we'll set them aside. And then I will, I will make snow happen again. And we might do, um, I was thinking I might do, nine prompts today instead of 12 if that's okay with you guys and then maybe that i think nine might be the perfect number 
because it's not too many and not too few. Thanks, Teresa. Um, if you're in the groups, my um, address should be in the files. I don't know if I've added it on Fibsville, to be truthful. I'll, I'll go add it in Fibsville. I don't know if I put it in there or not. Yeah, I'll make the triangle trees. I'm, I've got to draw a pattern up, so I'll show you how I do that. I've got just um, two more like this I need to make. Then that'll take care of all these strips, and I won't have to worry about misplacing them or accidentally pitching them in the trash. I think I pulled out enough to make 10 cards, yeah. But these go so quickly. You have 30, 20 or 30 cards in no time. And I've got a few more card blanks. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and that way I can just glue all at once. So I'm hoping my sister's doing okay. Her surgery was actually today instead of yesterday. And her husband is supposed to post to Facebook when she gets out of recovery. My youngest sister got a couple new puppies this year. She got one for her birthday, and then the other one's going to be a bigger dog that she they just got. His name's Bear, but it's in Cherokee. So whatever um, Cherokee is for Bear, that's the dog's name. I want to say Nona, but I could be wrong. It's, been, it's happened, me being wrong. Yes. Janet, if you could add it, you can get, pull it from uh, Aunt Beck's Creations and just add it over on Fibsville. That's fine. I've also got to punch stars for all of these trees. So I'm not going to do that today because I'm going to punch them out and I'm going to put them through my little Xyron machine. I just want to add the stars and the Merry Christmas after I've thrown this snow on. Oh, this says got words on it and... This actually says special holiday on it. How about that? That's part of the angel on this one. So I noticed a lot of people have said they've ordered these glue bots because it saves you from shaking the stupid thing because you just squeeze the bottle and it displaces the air that's locked in there and pushes the glue out the top. It beats shaking down any bottle. Scott said, uh, Gluebot ought to give you a sponsorship. And I was like, <laughs> that'd be nice. But since I'm not a woodworker and these were really, he said, well, Michael's or Joanne's or one of them ought to put it on their shelves. He said, they'd probably sell them all. I was like, well, I don't know if Gluebot has a, a working relationship with the craft, the, you know, crafters. I think they have a working relationship with the woodworkers. But see, there's so much like in different hobbies that cross over that if people would think outside the box, you know, yeah, just write them a letter. Say, look, I've been selling your product for you. <laughs> Now, see, this one's from a different paper, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. 
I could actually swap this out because this one has gold on it. I had an extra strip, so I'll do that. So I can have gold on both of these. I don't know why I'm hanging on to those short little pieces, but I am. Might need them for something, right? I can put them in my bits boxes. That's something I wanted to talk about. I don't know about you guys, but I have two boxes full of bits. Oh, hi, Barb. I didn't see you sneak in. Um, I have bits and bobs of stuff, and I was thinking about talking about ways that we could use those up and um, maybe make embellishments together. I don't know if you guys want to do that. I definitely want to do a pick nine. I might be on here longer than two hours because it's already four o'clock. I haven't heard from Lucia, like I said. She must be busy this week. So we'll draw this ornament if I can get my fingers to cooperate. And then we will do a pick nine after I do these other cards. I think I've got some of these card blanks left. I've actually gone through two 40 count. I'm almost through um, two 40 counts packages of these card bases. So I'm using them up. I like to get like invitation envelopes at the thrift store and then just make my cards to fit in those because they're smaller. They don't get as heavy. The cards don't, you know, they're not so huge. I like a little card like this. Mary likes little cards too, I think, because hers are little. Hi, Elizabeth Kay. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Oh, Lucia, hi. Hi, Lucia. You try to catch me after walking your dogs. Well, welcome to everybody that's just coming in. So I, this is the one I just pulled out. These need to go under the weight for just a little bit. And the weight I have is just my husband got a big countertop delivered for a uh, work workshop table. And he needed a place to put his router. So this, I think, is where he cut out for that. And I told him, I said, I want that. It's nice and heavy. And I can just put it when I'm wanting to weigh down stuff so they stay flat. And he said, you can have it. So see, now I've got these that I can make backgrounds out of. But I need a piece of scrap cardboard. These were supposed to have ribbon angels on it. But I'm going to put a, make them into trees. And then maybe just tie a bow of ribbon and put it at the top of the tree and say, I did an angel. You just can't see her. <laughs> All right. So let's make the trees this way. So the tree needs to be four inches tall. I think I'm going to make their bases about, let's see, if they're four inches tall, let's just draw a straight line here. That's four inches tall or as straight as it's going to be. I'm going to line my ruler up. I'm wasting recycled cardboard. How dare I waste this recycled cardboard? I need four inch tall trees. So this will be my center point. So if I come out from the center, that's going to be too big. I'm going to do make a dot at an inch and a half. And a dot at the inch and a half from the center line. And then I'm going to draw like this. I 
think that's going to be too. That doesn't look right either. Two and a half. I went to two inches on this side instead of an inch and a half. I knew that didn't look right. I was like, what on earth is going on here? So my tree will be four inches tall by three on the bottom. So if we cut this out, and this is just chipboard from the cat food, you know, where they put it in between the layers of cat food. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> Sorry, hang on. Got my water jug there. At this time of year, you know, they have all these pine cone scented stuff and all these different scented stuff in the shops. It just wears me out. I'm going to save that bigger piece of cardboard just in case I need to make these trees smaller. All right. So now I've made a pattern. If I get one, I need to move this. Get you. If I get a card base. These are the ones that come, you know, pre-scored um, and everything. If I just, this is going to be the size of my tree. I think I'm going to have to do them this way so that I have room to put a star up here and a trunk down here and still have room for Merry Christmas along the bottom. Some of the ones I made this morning, I think I'm going to end up having to put the Merry Christmas at the top instead. I really like them on the bottom. But this will work. So the tree is four inches from the tip to the center bottom. And then from the center mark I drew, I came over an inch and a half and made a little mark. And then draw a line from the tip to that little mark, a tip to the little mark, and then just straight across the bottom. And now I have a pattern. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn these over and see. I was hoping to get at least two trees out of each one. I think I'm going to have to. Which way is it four inches? Because these aren't four inches. Both That's it, four and a half this way. So. I think I can get two trees out of each one. And the reason I'm I'm going to mark it on the back. Okay. And I'm just using a pen. Oh, Becky, you got to mark the other way, girl. Good grief. I'm trying to hurry. Why, why am I in such a hurry? I don't have to be anywhere. Isn't it funny how you just get used to wanting to hurry, hurry, hurry? There's no need for that. If you guys want to go, you can go. I don't have to <laughs> put myself on a time crunch. Now, see, I might have to make my pattern a little smaller to get enough out of here. So that's why I wanted to, to see what it would look like. So if I make my tree a little shorter, so let's measure up. Let's do... Maybe three and a half or three. Make just a small tree. I'll get this pattern worked out. So I'm going to make my top there. And that means coming in about a quarter inch from there. So I'll mark um, one and a quarter here. And one and a quarter here. And then I'm going to do the same thing again and draw my line down. I want to get as many trees out of these as I can, but still have them be big enough for the card. Does that make sense? So now it's three inches tall. And then from the center line over on each side is one and a quarter inch and one and a quarter inch that way. I bet I can get a lot more trees. 
after I, I put all that work into it, I might as well get as many trees out of it as I can. And that's another thing. If you make a pattern for it, then all you got to do is trace around the pattern and you won't have already cut into your, into your piece, you know? Oh, Holly, I'm sorry. Messing you up. See, I'm thinking if I go this way, then flip around, trying to see how can I get the most trees out of here. See, I'll only end up with two that way. Maybe. Let's just play with drawing it out and see how many trees we can get each way, okay? So this is not a done deal. I'm working something out. So don't take these for golden until I say this is what I'm doing definitely. So here's a tree. And then if we flip it this way, can I get another tree? I can if I come up some. up, down, over, and see I can't get another tree. I was hoping to get three trees out of this. If I center it, I need a different colored pen <laughs> just so I can see because I'm, I'm playing right now. Kind of in the center here. We'll use a different color pen. Can I come this way? No. It looks like I'm only going to be able to get two trees out of it no matter what I do. Unless you guys see a different way. I think I'm going to get two trees. I'm going to change the paint, the paint color. The pen color one more time. I think I'm just going to go with two trees. So I'll get two, four, six, eight, ten. I'll get a dozen cards out of it. So my orange lines are going to be it. And I'm just going to do this. But don't throw away the parts that you um, have left over. Because you can cut them into little parts. And I did another tree last year that looked like stained glass. And it was nothing but little pieces that I chopped up. And um, what I did is I used, if I remember right, I used a pencil. And I would trace a, a shape. I'd cut out a, a cardboard pattern. But the tree had like different levels to it. And then... Um, I just filled in the area with the little little pieces and cut them to fit. And it turned out so cute. So this might be just a, a Christmas card making session, if you guys don't mind. And it's not going to matter how many times you wrote on the back because nobody's going to see that. It's going to be glued down. And now that you have the pattern, you can just do them over and over. And see, there's a little tree. So here's your card front. Put your little tree any which way you want. I really like my cards this way. That way, if anybody has like a little clothesline, they can just lay it over top. That's why I do my cards this way. Now, I have a Xyron machine. I could just run these through, but the kind of thing I have now will put a um, plastic film on the top, and I don't really want that for these because I want the um, snow, the snow splots to hit it. So we'll go ahead and just glue it down with tacky glue. And you could see, once you get your pattern figured out of what you want to do, then you can make tree after tree after tree. 
like this. If you don't want to use black pen or anything like that, you just choose a, a if you have a brown pen, you could do a brown trunk, but then just give your tree a little trunk down here any old way you want. And then maybe a snowbank, a few little sprigs of grass here and there. And if you wanted, you could take, um, I did this earlier. What did I do with that pen though? Here it is. If you could just do a little snow like this instead of a bunch of snow like I did, just kind of go by your line like that. And see, then you've indicated a little snow. You can make it thicker if you want to. And the only other thing I would do is sprinkle it with snow. Add your Merry Christmas or whatever, hot, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you want to put on here to denote the season. Hi, Violet. So, um, and then I, I like to add just a little wonky border. It's just a wavy line. And usually I like to do this after I've sprinkled the snow on. So it's on top of the snow drops, but I can go back and um, add some pen back to where if any of it gets covered then just do some slash marks like it looks like it's being stitched down does that make sense here and there do them in different directions so that it looks like you've really made an effort to stitch it down okay if you wanted you could put your initials on it i think it's funny my initials are ram but, uh, <laughs> and then sprinkle it with snow and you've got that done. And I'll, I'll put a, a star on the top of each of them. Are these all colored in? So all of these I just made with you guys for the most part. So that's 10 cards there. This will be another dozen cards if I do all of these. Do you guys want me to give you the pattern measurement I figured out? And I'm only getting two cards out of, out of these. I mean, if you wanted to make a smaller tree, you could. I'm just going to cut my trees out really quick and then set them aside. If you want me to do a stained glass one with the little bits of leftovers, I can show you how I did that too. Just giving you Christmas card ideas, okay? So if you want to make your own pattern, make a three-inch line. And then from the top of it, you're going to come down. Oh, wait. Okay. So you got your three inch line is drawn. This is a three inch line. Just draw a line on your paper. Then from that three inch line, come over one and a quarter inches and make a little dot down here and do the same on this side. One and a quarter inches, make a little dot and then draw a line straight across the bottom. And then you just draw a line from the little dot to the top, little dot to the top, and you've got your Christmas tree. So let's make a stack of Christmas trees really quick. I might go back to the black ink simply because it's easier for me to see. And when I'm doing bulk Christmas cards, I do um, a single motion at a time. So like I'll go through and if I'm trying to get them done fast, do the same thing, same procedure on each one before you move to the next procedure. So We'll just draw two trees on the back of each one of these. That way you're not laying down and picking up and it saves you time. Like if you, you volunteer to do something like make 50 cards and you need them right away, this will be faster. And if you mess up your lines and get wiggly on the back, it's not going to matter because nobody's going to see it.
And you can add things if you've got stickers and stuff. You know, I mean, you you'll on your backgrounds if they're too, you know, bumpy or whatever, you might have to add some extra glue to stickers. You know, if you have stickers, I have stickers. I rarely use stickers. I'm tempted to just give all the stickers away because I just don't use stickers. I don't know why. I need to find a way to use them that I enjoy, maybe. And as I said, I won't throw away my bits because I'll make a stained glass card. And I'm just lining the bottom of the tree with the bottom of bottom of the the side of the piece. And I just draw in the two lines I want to cut out. So, Mary, I'm kind of um, <laughs> cheating here and not doing the ribbon angel on these. Really, Teresa, I'd love to see that. If you can, um, if you remember the channel, if you could share it in Fibsville, I'd love to see that. That would be cool. See, I like, I like to do things. I like to do collage and things like that because it's like puzzles. Oh, you know what? I heard all this commotion at the door. I bet Tippy's home. Hang on just a second and I'll go let him in. Because he left last night. He was mad. I don't know why, but he stomped at Scott and left. Sorry, buddy. I didn't know you were home. I'm sorry. Hi. Come here. You hungry? Yeah. Let me feed him real quick. Like I said, he, this is the first he's been home. Oh, something happened out on the porch, too. We had fury out there, it looks like. Oh, my goodness. Cats everywhere. There's cats. There you go, bud. All right, Tippy's home. I tell you what, I'm going to. I'm still going to stick with the five o'clock time. So I'm just going to do the Christmas cards for today. And then maybe tomorrow I will come on if nobody else is going to be on at three o'clock. I haven't looked to see, but I might come on at three o'clock again tomorrow and do a prompt session. I don't know how many cards I'm going to, more cards I'm going to need, but these are turning out really cute. And by the time I splatter them with snow, add a card and a sentiment, they'll be really cute. So is any of you, is Lisa and um, Tanya doing live tomorrow? I can't remember. 
I really don't like to be on it about 4.30 because that's Vicky's time. Tippy, everybody's saying hello. He's out there. Om, yom, yom in the dish. Like I said, he went off, really ticked off last night. We don't know what we did, but he wanted out at midnight. And I told him, I said, it's going to be cold out there. He's usually one that stays. In fact, he gets under the covers with us when he gets too cold. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down, give them trunks and stuff. And uh, see, I don't know if I like the white or not. It might look better with the snow splashes on it. I said I needed a dozen, so I need 11 more. So it's looking like everybody's going to get tree cards. All right. Not tomorrow. Okay. Well, I'll plan to come on at 3 o'clock Eastern tomorrow and to do a prompt session. I think what I'm going to end up needing to do is do some videos of some sewing so I can do speed up. So, because it's hard for me to follow chat when I'm sewing because I need to really pay attention because I don't want to spend any time using a seam ripper. Somebody made a bunch of snide comments about how she couldn't stand to watch my sewing video because I had to use the seam ripper and my thread broke and I should have known that. And I was like, well, you know what? If you want it to be perfect, you go and you watch the ones that are perfect. And I like to show my mistakes so that if somebody else comes across that mistake, they'll know how to fix it, right? Aw, thanks, Lisa. Sometimes another thing with these pre-folded, um, pre-marked cards, they don't always fold even. You know, like if you score it yourself and fold it, it looks like it would just immediately fold and match, but they don't. All right, so that that is the last of the second 40 pack of cards, you guys. So that means I've made 80 cards when I finish these. 80 cards. That's a lot of that's a lot of blooming trees. Here comes Tippy. Hey buddy, where you been? Now, everybody that's allergic to cats is going to go, oh, my God, they're getting cat hair all over there. But cats is where it's at, isn't it, buddy? Oh, my sweet boy. He's going to cuddle. What's funny is he pets my face sometimes. He's such a rotten thing. Hi, baby. Oh, oh cat food breath. Mm, I just love it. Where you been? Where'd you go last night? Do you have other people? Should I be worried? You're not telling. His ear has healed pretty good. He still has a little bit of a separation at the tip where he got hurt a couple weeks ago. Hello? Oh, shut up. <laughs> it appears you are available for the 0% interest on your credit cards. They want your numbers. It's like, I am, if somebody calls me, I don't recognize the number, and they're wanting access to credit cards, say no. 
It's a scam. I don't believe anybody that cold calls me about my credit card. Yep, cuddle time. They all say hi, Tippy. Where you been? His paw seems to have healed from the thorn removal. That thing was huge. He said, I knew mom and daddy would get it out, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Can you go lay on your bed so I can finish these cards? Huh? He said, I want to be held. I've been gone all night. Becky, my cat Mickey gently pets my face in the morning to wake me up. Aww. Ulterior motive wants breakfast. Yeah. Hi, Aaron. She's on the case. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, and it's either they'll gently pat your face or this one scratched my eyelid the other morning. I think it was an accident. But, um, man, it hurt so bad. All right, you're going to have to go get in your chair back over here. Okay? I'll hold you in there, bit. You be a good boy. You be a good boy. Take a nap. You stay over here and take a nap. We'll see if that works or not. It looks like there was some cat rage on the back porch, but we have this stray that's been hanging around. And I think um, that is why my cats have been on, on guard is they don't want another interloper hanging around. Got to remember to leave room for a star at the top. And the black pen. I'm going to leave this snow uh, banks off. except for a line. And I'll leave the borders off until I get there. I might save that tree and that'll be a, a pattern already made. Make me a tree pattern envelope. No, baby, not right now. No, not right now. Don't do it. No, no. Well, you listen really well. You listen real well, honey. Oh, okay. Tail to the face is not what I needed, okay? Slip this way a little bit so I can still work, okay? There you go. All right. Let's move some things over since apparently I'm going to hold a cat whether I want to or not at this moment in time. Oh, my goodness. They don't get it. They think they can just do their normal prowling. But when the weather is really nasty, we'll even make these guys stay in. This is kind of hard to do when you're taking up my workspace. Rotten little beastie. I guess I'll add the trunk later. I got that picture as a little Piper when she was a baby. When we when we moved up here, I got Piper so Greg wouldn't be there all by himself. So she is most definitely Greg's cat. She, I call her Piper the Princess. She doesn't come and love on me as much as she used to since I took Cole down there, but Cole gave her something to do and and then she wasn't mean to Greg anymore. She used to be really mean to Greg to get him up 
to make him feed her and, uh, and play with her and stuff. But then Cole came and then they would play together. And then he went and brought Sally in. She really hates Sally. And what's happened is Sally and Cole play together and ignore Piper. So Piper pouts until I've been there for half a day. And then she comes and she just hangs with me. I feel kind of bad. I told Greg, I said, give her some extra special time. Those other two cats will play by themselves. But Piper used, was used to having you all to herself. And then she had to share. And now she really has to share. She don't, she's not a very sharing cat. She probably would have been better off as an only cat. But I didn't like how she was being mean to Greg. So she got a little brother whether she wanted one or not. I think somebody's missed me. You missed me? You shouldn't have gone out last night. You know, this is kind of hard to do with you here. Oh. Somebody's getting a tippy Christmas tree. I think Allie's allergic to cats. I think there's a couple people allergic to cats. And unfortunately, my cats kind of just, they they do their own thing and go where they want. and <sighs> They're kind of brats. So if you get something from me, know that there might be cat hair on it because they're cats. I know. Look at him. He's like, would you stop? Why are you moving your arm? Why aren't you petting me? At least he hasn't gotten another thorn in his paw. I'm sorry, buddy. You... Laying further down on my arm is not helping, dude. Yeah, you could look out the window. You could lay next to the computer right here and look right out the window and not involve my arm. What do you think? Do you think you could go over there for a while? Dude, this is not working for me. He said it's working fine for me. Except when you move your arm. Look out, buddy. I'm not trying to pet you. You want to go over there? I haven't even pulled out my little cat Christmas tree I found at the thrift store a couple of years ago. Now, why are you getting things out of there? That card's got to be refolded. It's going to drive me crazy how crooked it is. Uh-oh, I'm going to be a card short. I, I'm going to need another card base. I wonder if I've got any more brown ones. If not... I've got some other colors. And as I said, I'm trying to use up what I've got. And I'm probably not going to buy any more card bases. I mean, in a way, they're kind of nice because you don't have to cut one. But it's so easy to cut a card base. And how he's taken to trying to drink my coffee. He'll actually drink coffee. A little weirdo. He's gone back to get more to eat since he's not getting full attention. So I'm just going to go eat more and then come and breathe on you. All right. So tomorrow I will come on and we'll do a prompt session. And I might go hunting on Pinterest for a, a fun little side project to do.
I need one more card base. Let's see what's down in the drawer. The drawer of card bases. Oh, here we go. Let's use these. I actually got the black set specifically for making a um, um, card and envelope album. The only problem with this is the snow is not going to show up on here. So give me just a second. And I think what we'll do is we'll have the card base ready. Started setting aside the um, unfinished projects I have. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have so many unfinished projects. So, what we'll do is we'll apply the tree. To this and then I'll after I get the snow on it, I'll apply it to this card. So I need to cut this at about six inches. And I just put a new blade in this, but then I've been cutting stuff, so we'll see if it'll if it'll do. All right. See, even with a brand new blade, it's all raggedy baggedy. I'll slide that back in my scrap box. So if you run out of one card base, don't be afraid to apply to a black or a brown or whatever. We'll just do this one on black. Oh, you'll be gone tomorrow? Okay, Mary. So Mary, what are you gonna do tonight? What kind of projects are you gonna do? Is Lynn here? Hi, Lynn. It's Lynn, UK Lynn. Thank you, Janet, for the hit, for the hide. I hate when trolls show up. All right. And because I'm putting this tree on black, I could almost stamp the sentiment in white or gold. This one, I'll, the stem, I'll have to add with, uh, I'll just use the gold pen so that it'll show up. And then I'll do gold for the sentiment as well. So... Set that on there to weight it down. Postcard sounds great. So just like that, we've made all of these. Some of these need stems. Oh, that's not good. See what happens when Tippy helps? I get boo-boos. All right, so those have stems or trunks, whichever you want to call them. So I'll just add some trunks. Like I said, I can't I can't flick the snow on these right now until I get um, some space on my trays. I told Scott when we get settled, I want him to make me 
like the racks they use in industrial ovens. You know, they just roll them in and they just move them around on the trays. He's back. Buddy, mama can't hold you right now. Sweet boy. All right, let me have my arm. I think I can do this still. Yeah, I hear you purring. I got to call my mom back too. So I might go sit in the little room, let him sit on me while I talk with my mother. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Where did you go last night? We need tippy cam, don't we? We need to a GoPro for cats so we know where they go. The little jerks probably have neighbor neighbors feeding them too. Is that what's going on? Do you go see the neighbors and plead your case about how miserable your life is here? You know, everybody can see that's not true. That you're kind of a spoiled little wretch. Are you a spoiled little wretch? He says, no comment. He said, please quit moving your hand. These are supposed to be sprigs of grass, if you didn't know. <laughs> oh. Now I wonder why they won't show that. I can't get to my mouse to okay Journey's comment. Let me see. I don't see what could be possibly wrong with that comment. Happy Mail is fun to open. I know a lot of people don't you seem to care to sit through it from the negative comments I sometimes get. But you know what? They're just jealous. <laughs> Why do you even have to say anything if you don't, if you've got a beef with it? I guess some people would say, well, then you'd know that some people don't like that content. Well, there's how many million other channels out there that they could like go and watch if they want Miss Perfect all the time. Tippy, I could fling snow if I didn't have a cat here. I just got to see if these other ones are dry. And if they're dry, I could do something on them. And then I could sit here and do Christmas cards if I didn't have a cat in my lap. So all these here, I'm going to do another um, kind of card with these. I think what I'll do is draw another pattern. Maybe I could do that real quick if I can get him to go lay down in his bed. Buddy, you really are going to have to go. I'm sorry. I know you missed me. I missed you too. I was worried about you, but I need to finish these cards. And it's not all about you, boo. It's not all about my boo kitty. Yes, I know. That'd be good. All right. I'm just going to trace this. This is my pattern piece. I'm going to trace it, but then I'm going to do some alterations here. So maybe come down a ways and make a line in like this.
It's hard to draw the opposite direction. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that. I don't like the way that looks, so we'll try again. This is just a piece of cardboard from a box, so it's not like I'm wasting materials trying to do this. I only want three tiers, so if we come down about an inch, and then at two inches, maybe about here. I guess I could measure it. Measure it. Let's see how close I am. So here's an inch, here's two inches, there's three inches. Inch, two inches, three inches. I promise it'll it'll make sense when I figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> if I can just figure out what I'm doing, I'll let you guys know what I did. Okay, maybe come in a little bit farther on this one. And I'm just eyeballing, so I can't give you a def definite measurement on these. I'm just kind of I'm trying to create layers here. So let's come straight across here. And this one I want to give a trunk. That trunk is way wider than the tree really needs. It'll be all right. Oh, Lisa had to go. Bye, Lisa. I need to do some more Christmas shopping. The puppy, I think, needs to go out, too, so... This kind, I find, it's tedious, but it looks really cool when it's done. And this is going to be my pattern. I might take the time to do this just so you guys can see what one looks like. This is kind of like diamond pattern diamond painting but with no diamonds and no painting <laughs> so let me grab that piece of black back I just had I use black and I'm going to use a pencil and I'm just going to trace around this and cut it out and then you just start cutting little pieces of this and fill this shape in, but leave a little space so a little of the black shows, and it'll look like stained glass. So you'll have a tiny little stained glass tree made with scraps and bits. And I just Flip the tree over. There's my white scissors I've been looking for. These are the fussy cut scissors. Okay. 
I'm going to have um, whole trees with flicked on white paint all over this room. By the time I get all of these flicked with paint, and then I got to draw all those borders on. Thought I had that clipped far enough. All right, I don't like how that looks right there. Okay, so you got the little tree. Now we gotta fill it all in with itty bitty pieces. So what I do is just randomly chop these. into tiny little pieces. And then I just kind of make them fit. Okay. Hi, Nancy. Just saw you. I just looked up. Terry's here. Hello, Terry. Hi, Samantha. Anybody I missed? So I've got this base. I'll glue this to one of those white cards. Um, let's see what will fit up in the tip. That'll fit. So we'll just glue this on. Got too much glue. Way too much glue. Okay. All right, so we'll set that on there. Hold it for a second. And you decide how much, um, you know, black area you want to show on here. I think this piece, that's the bad part about getting too much glue. I almost need, oh, you know what I need to use? I need to use the glue pen. Let me see if I can find that real quick. I don't know if you can still get these or not. It's a quickie glue pinpoint roller. I think, where'd that piece go? It was a little triangle. I think it'll fit here. And just leave a little bit of space. Yeah, that'll fit pretty good. And it just puts a little bit of glue down. And we'll set that on there. And then, let's see what we got here. If you've got a piece you'd like to use, but it doesn't quite fit and doesn't give you enough black space in between the pieces, just trim a little bit off. Pretend you're doing tile work. So now we'll put this glue on here. And let's see what this does here. If we put this in here, put that there. I need to look and see if these are still available. I got these on closeout at Michael's when they were doing away with them. So I don't know if they're still available or not. 
Uh oh. This is fiddly. So if you don't, <laughs> your eyes and fingers wouldn't like this project. Yeah. Mine don't care for it either very much, but I just like how they turn out. So somebody will get, one of these. <laughs> I might make one. Sure. Oh, that must be Greg. Sent me a picture. Scott McCauley. What does he want? Oh, he wanted to know if I wanted pinto beans. Because <laughs> we went to uh, the seafood restaurant for it to pick up a meal today. And I said, well, I guess, I guess that's what I'll have. But, you know, if you had a bigger card, you could make a bigger tree to work on. And then you wouldn't be working quite as small. It's just they turn out to be so cute. I think the one I made last year was actually a little bigger. This is pretty tiny. <laughs> But I do like how they look when they're done. It's a little too large that way. Oops. We'll just go ahead and use this piece because it's cut. Let's see. No, I don't think there's any glue down there. There is now. But if you wanted to, instead of doing something fiddly like this, you could just cut just random crazy looking triangles and just have wonky little trees. Oh, that's too big for there. It's not going to fit. Will it fit right there? Uh-oh. I just look at these as puzzles and I just love puzzles. So if a little bit goes off the edge of your tree, just cut it off and say it was supposed to be that way. It'll fit in there. Nope, it's still too big. That'll certainly fit. I have one of those. Um, little things that'll pick little tiny things up. You know, oh, I don't know what they're called. It's got like a ball of a rubberized glue on the tip. Uh-oh. Uh 
fiddly bits, fiddly bits. Did I miss something about Violet's head? This is fiddly, so I am kind of... Ah! <laughs> A shake and bake tree. I love tiny things. I always have. When I was a little girl, I loved to collect. Back in the 70s, they had all these like little plastic animals that you could get. They were kind of see-through. Um, and they would they were just plastic. I don't know. I guess I got rid of all of them or lost them moving around and that kind of stuff over the years. But I used to have a collection of all these little plastic animals. There's the trunk. And another thing you can do if you have a uh, glue with a fine tip after this sets up and is dry, you can come back with a fine tip glue and put just a little glue in between each of them and then just cover it in glitter. And uh, then you'd have glitter in between instead of um, black paper. But I kind of like the look of the black paper because to me then it looks like stained glass. Well, that's where that one's going to live since it decided to jump off my finger and land there. I get this tree done. I'm going to sign off and take a little break and wait for Mary to come on. She's going to be on at 8.30 Eastern or 7.30 Central. And I will take Miss Bernadette for a walk after I get this fiddly bits done. Bernadette, I hear you, honey. You're going to have to wait just a minute. She got a can of wet food today, and she was quite pleased with it, and I think she would like another one. But I'm trying not to give her too much wet because the vet said it's not really good for them, that it's, it's better to keep them on dry for as long as they have teeth. <laughs> I'm just kind of grabbing and filling in here, there, and everywhere. If it looks like it'll fit, it goes there.
Good night, Terry. Kathy. Hi, Kathy Whitney. I loved your village. I used to love the villages until I worked at Michael's and the Halloween one would drive you bonkers if you were in there working and that thing would go off over and over and over again for the whole shift you're there. So let's chop a little bit off here. Do you notice I cut those a little bit bigger that time? <laughs> Bye, Cheryl. Bye, Joyce. Yeah, everybody come over to Mary's at 730 Central. She's got some happy mail. And we're going to do some postcards, I think. Unless she decides to do something else, which is her prerogative. She might be like me and change her mind between now and then. You never know. Bernadette's groaning at me. She's making noises. I'm going to have to go take her out. I'd like to walk her up to the stop sign and back, but this time of day... With the sun setting low like that, down toward the lake, people coming home, they can't see us. And I'm afraid of getting hit. So I don't walk her in the evenings in the winter. She would like it very much. Me, not so much. I'm afraid of getting smooshed. But the new house next door is coming along. I say next door, there's another three acre lot between us and them. And we had thought about buying the lot, but the guy wants to buy this lot from my sister-in-law instead, but she don't want to sell, but she was hoping we'd buy the lot next to her and we would just build here. But now we're leaning toward, we'd really like to be out of Greenville County because the taxes are kind of high here. So we'll see where we end up. I'll look at chat real quick here. Let me get this one glued down. See what you guys are chit-chatting about. Fiddly bits. That's not going to fit there until I snip off a little bit. A little bit more. Oh, Mary, bye. Bernadette loves everybody too. She's she's a wiggle worm when she gets around people. She thinks everybody loves her and that she should get all the attention. The only thing is she jumps up on people and I don't think I'm ever going to break her of that because she's 13 years old and we found her with that, that uh, bad attitude and she just gets ex so excited. She says she can't control herself. She just, she just wants to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Her little nubby tail just wiggles and wiggles and wiggles when she's around somebody new. She just thinks it's great. And they obviously came to see her, not us. It is pretty, but you can see how fiddly it is. <laughs> it's like a puzzle that... never ends ah let's try that again oh 
Oh dear, did I pull a piece up? I don't know. So if I look at that piece, I need a flat bottom. And then an angle this way. And an angle back that way. Sorry, this should fit now. Let's put some glue down here. What's bad is I got just as much glue on my fingers as I think. No, Journey, I am not making 40 of these. This might be the only one. So somebody... We'll get lucky and get <laughs> this tree that takes forever. Now, I, I think I've got enough cards made for the amount of cards I normally get. I mean, I don't usually get a lot of Christmas cards. My... um. Sister-in-law sends us one, and my cousin Penny, she always sends me one. And then I'll get a few from y'all, and then that's about it. <laughs> it's not very many people send out Christmas cards anymore. No, this one will definitely be a one-off. I don't know who will get it. Somebody will get it. Because they are really pretty. They are very time consuming. Um, Mary, I haven't had any trouble with YouTube since I did a system update because there was a big flash player update this morning that came across uh, for both my phone and my computer. I don't know if anybody else had that or not. Um, we run Linux instead of Windows. We don't run Windows. Scott can't stand Windows. Um, so we got notification that we needed to do an update. So I did it, and it's been working great ever since. But I had a Flash Player update come through. The last of it's just the ability to look at something and um, visualize what the piece would look need to look like to fit in the spot is the big thing. And then just get fiddly with it. Get fiddly with it. Instead of get jiggy with it, let's get fiddly. I think that'll fit down in there. What's on this one? This has got a piece of green on it. Let's see if we can stick that right here.
Now, if you wanted it to look even cooler, you can um, cover it with um, glossy accents. So it's just a big bubble. I might get a, a baker's mat and just cover this whole thing. I, I actually have... Um, I was looking through things that need to be used up. I've got this crackle accents. It makes a cracked appearance on here. So I might use that. It's almost empty. I might just cover this with that and see what it does. But I'll do that. Not online. I'll do that and then I'll show you guys later. Yes, I'm going for that hole right there because it's just a little too big to be left empty. All right. I think I got one more piece here that Bernadette's getting anxious. I'm going to have to go and let take her out. Just a minute, baby girl. I'll be right with you. Oh, that doesn't fit that way. Whoops. Maybe this way? It'll fit in there. Fill that hole up a little bit. And... Okay, we got a little square. That we need to fill up right here. That's not quite small enough. Oh, not quite small enough yet. Sorry, guys. You guys are going, she's nuts. <laughs> I told you I would show you how to do stained glass. I didn't say it was going to be easy. That'll probably fill it up pretty good. All right. There's my little stained glass tree. Ta-da! Oh no, Janet says now she has problems when she didn't have any before. So save your cardboard so you can make patterns and then keep your patterns somewhere so you can have them for another time. So I've got lots of snow to splatter while I'm waiting for Mary to come on. And I need to get some lunch or dinner or lupper or whatever it's called. So thank you guys. I'm going to let you go. I've been on here 22 minutes longer than I expected to be. But so this one tree took 22 minutes. <laughs> but it's cute. And if I cover it with glossy accents, I can be guaranteed um, it, everything will stay stuck down. Plus, this is a crackle effect. So it'll have little, you know, cracks all over it. This is pretty thick. I don't know if there's a way to thin it down, but... Do not shake. It will create air bubbles. Turn your bottle upside down. Let liquid flow to the tip. Remove the cap and then gently squeeze the bottle and establish your flow on scrap paper. Drying time will vary. Blah, blah, blah. All right. 
Okay, guys, I'll see you at Mary's 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central, and we'll do postcards, I guess. So I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching. Bye. Maybe if I can get the mouse to move. Okay, really, bye now.